everyone, this is Holly Knutson. I'm a functional health practitioner from Utah, and today I'd like to continue my cancer series and talk about the best cancer-fighting supplements. Well, if you've ever bought supplements, you know that narrowing down your supplement choices can be very mind-boggling. Not only are there thousands of supplements to choose from, there are hundreds of brands you also need to navigate. Once you've landed on a specific supplement and brand, you'll then have to decide whether to buy capsules, tinctures, or powders. The whole affair can be confusing to say the least. In this video, I'll take the guesswork out of buying the best cancer-fighting supplements by recommending my top choices. Number one is Pectisol C. Pectisol C, or modified citrus pectin, is used for many conditions, including diabetes, stroke, cardiovascular disease, obesity, and cancer. It's beneficial for any condition that is inflammatory in nature and is efficacious for cancer because it promotes healthy immunity by helping white blood cells and natural killer cells do their job better. Modified citrus pectin blocks galactin-3, a chemical normally found in small amounts in the body. High amounts of galactin-3 are associated with inflammatory markers, including macrophages, mast cells, neutrophils, C-reactive protein, and interleukin-6. The overexpression of galactins is implicated in the aggregation, proliferation, and metastases of malignant cells. Modified citrus pectin blocks galactin-3 by inhibiting the mechanisms that stimulate cancer growth, notably apoptosis and angiogenesis. Modified citrus pectin also chelates heavy metals. Lowering levels of galactin-3 is imperative if you have cancer, which is why Pectisol C is one of my favorite cancer-fighting supplements. It has been highly researched and was developed by Dr. Isaac Elias. Number two, systemic enzymes. Most people think of enzymes in terms of digestion, but systemic enzymes are taken on an empty stomach and have a different purpose than digestive enzymes. They're also called proteolytic enzymes, and they're used to break down fibrin in the bloodstream and to sweep the circulatory system of debris, and this promotes good immune function. When enzymes in the body are deficient, waste and toxins accumulate in the bloodstream and lymphatic system, and this inhibits immune function, which sets the body up for disease. Specifically for cancer, enzymes are used to break down tumors and degrade the protective coating of viruses, and this frees them to be targeted by the immune system. Viruses and pathogens significantly burden the immune system and increase toxic load. On the other hand, reducing toxic load liberates the immune system so it can function optimally. Enzymes are often used as an alternative to NSAIDs for their ability to decrease inflammation, pain, and swelling. However, they differ from NSAIDs in that they target only harmful circulating immune complexes while leaving the beneficial ones untouched. This makes enzymes a great choice for alleviating pain because they don't have any negative side effects. Number three, vitamin D. Vitamin D is a non-negotiable cancer prevention supplement because of its ability to regulate immune function. It's also necessary for calcium absorption and for optimal functioning of the muscular and nervous systems. It's ideal to get vitamin D from sunlight, but this isn't always possible depending on where you live. In some locations, it's impossible to get vitamin D from the sun during the winter months. Many people are deficient even in the summer because they don't spend enough time in the sun on a regular basis. In order to get vitamin D from sunlight, you need to be outside for at least 20 minutes with 40% of your skin exposed. Certain foods contain vitamin D, including fatty fish, fortified milk, and egg yolks. My favorite way of building up vitamin D stores is by taking my daily dose of cod liver oil. You not only get the benefits of consuming fatty fish, but cod liver oil is also rich in vitamin A, a fat-soluble vitamin plentiful in animal-based food. 
And because it's plentiful in animal-based food, vegetarians are often deficient in both vitamins A and D. Number four, Esiac tea. Esiac tea is a popular alternative cancer therapy that has shown great success with newly diagnosed cancer patients. Renee Casey, a Canadian nurse, promoted the tea back in the 1920s. In fact, Esiac is her last name spelled backwards. The tea contains four main ingredients. Burdock root, which has apoptotic effects. It supports the immune system and purifies the blood. Slippery elm, which is a mucolage and anti-inflammatory that promotes detoxification and elimination. Sheep sorrel leaves is an antioxidant-rich herb that supports waste removal from the kidneys and targets cancer cells. Indian or turkey rhubarb root promotes liver detox and decreases inflammation. The tea is a favorite among alternative health practitioners due to its anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and immune-boosting properties. It also has the ability to promote cellular renewal. The herbs contained within the tea elevate the enzyme systems in the body, which is highly beneficial for people with cancer. These enzymes improve endocrine function and have a favorable effect on the liver, both of which positively affect immune function. All these properties make Esiac tea a therapeutic remedy for cancer and a host of other conditions. Each herb is medicinal in itself, but when combined, have a synergistic effect. The tea is considered safe and most people don't experience any negative side effects. Number five, curcumin. Turmeric is the rich yellow Indian spice that's used in curry dishes. Curcumin is the primary curcuminoid in turmeric and is used alternatively to treat cancer and the pain associated with it. It has been shown to prevent cellular proliferation, stimulate apoptosis, prevent angiogenesis, which is the development of new blood vessels, retard tumor growth, and inhibit malignant cells from multiplying. It's also liver protective. Curcumin may be particularly helpful for cancers of the prostate, breast, and colon, as well as melanoma, but is advantageous for all types of cancer. It helps the immune system operate more efficiently and boost detoxification. And because it's a potent anti-inflammatory, curcumin is used to reduce the pain and swelling associated with arthritis and any other inflammatory disease. Curcumin exerts its beneficial effect by inhibiting various inflammatory molecules, and this makes it a viable supplement for pain relief. It's also a powerful antioxidant, antiviral, and antifungal, and is unique in that it can cross the blood-brain barrier. Six different human trials have deemed curcumin safe. It is used alternatively or in combination with conventional cancer treatments. Number six, medicinal mushrooms. Mushrooms grow from the vegetative portion of fungi called the mycelium. They have a lineup of impressive benefits, including regenerating tissue growth, decomposing bacteria, viruses, and other toxins, producing enzymes, stimulating immune function, detoxifying cells and tissues, healing damaged tissue, accelerating healing, blocking cell replication, and stimulating apoptosis. An apoptosis is a process of programmed cell death in which the damaged cells shrink, condense, and die, and is a critical process for cancer prevention. There are numerous varieties of mushrooms that support health. Myotaki is a broad-spectrum tonic that supports immune function by increasing the activity of Th1 cells, natural killer cells, T cells, interleukin-1, and macrophages. Chaga mushrooms are antiviral, anti-inflammatory, and contain superoxide dismutase, which is a powerful antioxidant enzyme. Chaga also has copious amounts of vitamin C and has been shown to decrease tumor growth in live animal models. Reishi is called the elixir of immortality and is a potent immune modulator and detoxifier. It's plentiful in polysaccharides, compounds that are responsible for its anti-cancer effects. 
Reishi is used to prevent and combat infections and to treat prostate cancer in combination with other herbs. It promotes oxygenation and healthy liver function. Cordyceps is a nutritional powerhouse and anti-inflammatory. It prevents mutations, reduces oxidative stress, and inhibits cancer cell and tumor growth. Shiataki is an antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal mushroom and is rich in vitamin D. It's used to heal chromosomal damage caused by conventional cancer treatments and to prevent DNA damage caused by oxidative stress. Number seven, melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone produced naturally by the pineal gland in the brain and the GI tract. It's used widely for jet lag and to promote restful sleep. Melatonin is commonly used in supplemental form to treat insomnia. Because of its antioxidant properties, it's thought to stimulate components of the immune system. Laboratory results have shown that melatonin inhibits cancer cell growth, particularly in regard to melanoma, lung, colorectal, and breast cancers. Additional evidence suggests that melatonin is showing promise in treating tumors of the brain by inhibiting the growth of neuroblastoma cells. Neuroblastoma is a type of cancer where malignant cells form in developing tissue and is the third most common cancer in children. Studies on rats have shown that melatonin stopped the growth of gliomas, a type of brain tumor that originates in the spinal cord or brain. Melatonin may also prevent pituitary tumors from developing by triggering apoptosis and halting tumor growth. Supplementation may result in longer survival times when used in combination with certain chemotherapy drugs, especially in advanced cases of cancer. Melatonin is used to decrease the side effects of chemotherapy. In summary, targeted supplements are used with great success as components of alternative cancer therapies. They're affordable, effective, and can be vital allies to support you during your cancer journey. Supplements are also important for cancer prevention and to maintain the current state of your health. If you or a loved one has cancer, please consider learning more about these supplements and passing along the information. Do you have any questions about supplements for cancer? Please let me know in the comments, and I'll put um, links for you to purchase the supplements below this video. Thanks so much for watching.